In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters in the Lord, we are on Thursday, the seventh week of Easter. The Gospel reading is from the Gospel of John, chapter 17, verses 20 to 26, the last part of the priestly prayer of Jesus. And this prayer is interesting because we read in verse 20, I ask not only on behalf of these but also on behalf of those who will believe in me through their word jesus is praying for you and me and for all who believe in the word of the disciples dear brothers and sisters it's our privilege that we are in the church that we believe in Jesus his word and what is the prayer of Jesus once again the same that we may be one perfectly one like the father and the son and this oneness we find in the church we believe church is one holy Catholic and apostolic we need to thank God that we are in the church that we have Receive the prayer of Jesus. My dear brothers and sisters, there's a saint by name, Saint Cyprian of Carthage, the first bishop martyr of Africa. He says, Therefore, anyone who divides the church goes against his unity and peace. He sins greatly. Why does he sin greatly? Because he goes against the very prayer of Jesus, the petition of Jesus. Therefore, brothers and sisters, let us pray for the unity of the church. And more so in these days when we pray to the Holy Spirit. And remember, Holy Spirit always unites, does not divide. May God give us this grace of unity. May we remain in the church and pray for the church and for all. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. For further updates, please subscribe this channel. To subscribe this channel, you know, below description, click on the red button subscribe, sign in, and again, click on the red button subscribe, and click on bell icon. Like, comment, share. Thank you.